God says anything you ask is done. He says there's power in agreement. Once both of you, you see, what you have in a relationship is this. The man moves this way, the woman comes here. The woman moves this way, the man falls here. You see, what you do in your relationship is this. You do everything to make sure there is agreement. The point is this. Why do men find it difficult? Or why do they feel inferior? Or why do they compete with their wives? Now, God has said the man is a head without testing. The woman sometimes might outshine the man sometimes. Even if the woman outshines the man, he's still the head. Now, a man should understand this. Listen, I'm going to give you something that a man, if you understand, you will just relax. Look. God knows that this woman might be better than you in some areas. But he still said, you are already the head. But the truth of the matter is this. As long as I know I'm the head, when I see my wife with some qualities that make me feel that she, she's intelligent or she's bright and area, it is my advantage how I harness those skills. Remember, she is my helper to contribute to my life. If I'm the only one that knows it all, my life cannot be blessed. I need somebody who can become two with me or one with me who can add. The woman is to add to your life. Remember, one will chase 1,000, two will chase 10,000. If she knows it all, if she can do nothing, you don't have the right marrying her because you will be the way you wear and there will be no subduing because you need something she has to add with your own to make you able to subdue. If the way you came into the marriage is the way you are, then you are dealing with just one power you have. But the good part of the story is this. I want to, I want to liberate the men today. Listen, the Bible says the woman is what? The glory of the man. Which means, when you see a woman who is shining, it means the husband is great. Because... What God is telling the man is this. As a head of the home, I've given you the power to make that woman into what she's supposed to be. Therefore, when a man has a woman who seems to be able to shine in every area, it means the man not only has manageable skills, that man must have something because the woman only reflects what the man is. If you are bright, and your wife is dumb. It means you are dumb. Because the woman is supposed to reflect you. And so why would you want a woman who can make a contribution, who can shine, who can do anything, but she's just good to be in the kitchen? Then it means that is the way you are. Remember, anywhere that woman goes, she carries your name. She carries your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And remember, remember, the more you bring out the potential to that woman, the more powerful you are. A great man, listen to me. If you are great and everybody around you is not great, you are not great. You're not great. Because how do we know you are great? We look around you. My husband always says it. If you want to know who am I, who I am, I will introduce my wife to you. Yes! I always tell people, you see, when I go outside and they give me awards, I always say to myself, you are giving the wrong person an award. The person you need to give an award is the person that has made me this way. Because if my husband has, is not the man he is, I cannot be who I am. Because I'm just what? The glory of my husband. And therefore, when you see your wife shining, just put your hand on your chest and say, Hallelujah, I must be wonderful. Don't feel you are competing. Go back to your seat, please. Don't feel you are competing. You know, my God, you are. Let her shine. She's, she's reflecting. 
Bible says, arise and shine. For your light has come because God's glory has come upon you. You see, when there is a glory, there must be shining. You see, if your glory comes upon that woman, then she becomes glorious. So when she's shining, she's shining and reflects to people who you are. Are you getting the point? And therefore, don't ever feel you need to compete. When you see her, I mean, prospering, relax. The money she will bring in, isn't it for both of you? Are you with me? And remember, being the head doesn't mean you have it all together. No! It's not about what you, what you do, it's who you have been made. Are you with me? God did not test you to make you the head. So there are times when your wife's suggestion might be better. But it shouldn't make you feel anyhow. Just listen to that lady. Because, remember, one who put the flight what? 1,000. But two will do what? Praise the Lord. I'm from um, a broken home. And, um, you know, where there was so much abuse in the marriage, physical abuse, spiritual, everything. Nothing ever worked in the house. Where the man will come back to the house and, you know, um, at night there will be trouble and, you know, um, fights.